I use a Logitech C920 webcam for, to capture a lot of my YouTube video content. It's either that or my cell phone, but the Logitech camera gets a lot of use because that's what's hooked to my PC and uh, I find it really handy to do a lot of my videos. But it does have a problem, something that kind of bugs me, and that's that the focus on it is very close to the camera. It, it's not so good for focusing on things a little bit further away. And so I was wondering if there's a way to possibly fix that and started looking around online and it seems like there are a couple ways, but I wasn't happy with a lot of the methods that were suggested. So here's what I came up with. So what I want to show you here is the focal range of the Logitech C920 just as it is out of the box. And so what I'm doing is I'm capturing uh, my screen, or at least the, the control screen for the Logitech camera and the camera itself. And I'm going to show you how the focus works. So right now the autofocus is turned on and you can see that this camera is capable of focusing very close in. There's about two centimeters away. I'll do that again with some print. It's about, that's about maybe two to three centimeters in front of the camera. You can see that it focuses very nicely. And likewise, it'll auto focus on me and it's pretty good. But let's, let's kind of look at what that range of focus looks like in the controls. If I turn off autofocus and then I start dragging the, the focus slider, um, I'm going to focus in close. So I'll just manually focus in on that. And you can see that, the, that it comes into focus kind of to the far right. I'm about two centimeters away from the camera. So you can see that it's like the focal range goes in real close. But when we want to pull back and focus on something further away, you can see that about the time I come in focus, we're almost out of range on the focus slider. And you can see that the background, like the cabinet and the posters in the background, never really come into sharp focus, even at the, at the very extreme end of the, uh, the focus slider. So I'm super nearsighted and I wear contact lenses most of the time and, and these are just reading glasses actually so I can see my screen. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you these are my prescription glasses and I have about a, a minus 7 in my left eye and a minus 5 in my right eye. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in front of the, the Logitech camera and let you see what that is to the focus. So you can see if I put the lens in front there, everything's blurry, right? But now if I start focusing you can see that now, now I've got a lot more usable range. In other words, I can focus on myself, I can focus on the background. There's a lot of distortion here because of the, the distance between the, the glasses and the and the camera, but you can see that now I can actually usably focus on the background. So that gives you some idea of the See right about there. We've still got some room left, but the background is in sharp focus. And that was with the the right lens of my glasses, which is like minus five. So that gives you some idea of kind of where we want to be in terms of the correction applied to the camera. So I did a little researching online and I found that a lot of people had suggested either taking the camera apart and adjusting the, the position of the lens, rotating it at 90 degrees or something, so that the autofocus mechanism has more room to work with. But I didn't really want to take my camera apart, so I did a little more reading and it seems like other people suggested using an external corrective lens. And so what I found was a Nikon viewfinder lens. This is about $5 on Amazon, and I don't know if you can see this. This is actually a minus five uh, lens. So that's about the range we want for the correction. So this is what the little viewfinder lens looked like. It doesn't have a lens in it right now, and I'm going to explain why, but this is what it looked like. You can see it's pretty small. Now the downside to this is that when you put this on the camera, with the lens in there, it was very difficult to avoid getting a shadow. And so I was having a really hard time uh, finding a, a suitable position that didn't result in a little bit of this uh, vignette look. So the lens is held into this little frame on the viewfinder um, by these four little plastic studs and they're just melted over 
the back of the lens. The lens is like an ob round. It's, it's got two rounded ends and it's rectangular otherwise. And I figured, well, I can, I'll just push it out of there. It, almost, it looked like the kind of thing where I could just set it down on a flat surface and put some pressure on it and pop it out. And I think if it had been polycarbonate, it would have been fine. But it's not polycarbonate. It's a glass lens. And when I tried to get it out of there, it broke. And so, uh, so much for that little $5 viewfinder lens. It's dead. Fortunately, Amazon came to the rescue and I found another option. 2,000 years later. So the Amazon delivery guy just came with my second attempt at fixing the Logitech uh, focus issues. And I'm not sure how I feel about this box. It doesn't look like what I ordered, but I'm pretty sure it's the right thing. So what I ordered are these Fat Shark lens inserts for uh, first-person video goggles. Uh, so if you fly drones or whatever, I guess these little plastic lenses can go into those goggles to correct uh, for nearsightedness or whatever. And so they come in, a, it's a minus two, a minus four, and a minus six. And there's two of each because it's left and right eyes. So I'm hoping this will work well as a fix for the, uh, the nearsightedness of the Logitech C920 camera. Okay, so what you get in the package uh, from the Fat Shark lens uh, order are these three little plastic sheets, and they've just got these kind of clinged around the actual lenses themselves. And there's a note in the package, too, that says that these are, you know, scratchable, and that you have to be careful with them, and they are kind of a polycarbonate material. Uh, but there are, in fact, uh, minus two, minus four, and minus six lenses in there, which is right in the range I want. So let's try and experiment and see how they work. So the first lens I'm going to try is the minus six, and I'm just going to put it in front of the lens here, and we'll see how that affects the focus. So looking at my settings, right now autofocus is turned off, and I'm at the maximum distance setting. And if I put this minus six lens in front of the camera, now you can see it's everything's kind of gone a little bit blurry. So I'm going to push the focus back. Okay, yeah, and there we can see that now the background is in focus. And somewhere in here, right about there, my shirt is in focus. So I'm pretty happy with that uh, because now I've got a good range of focus, right? I can, I can focus up in uh, close on this end here. And that still gets me within maybe two inches or so of the camera. And on the other end of the focal range, right about there, my shirt is in focus. And then if I keep going further, you can see that the background comes into focus. And then going even further, the background slides out. So it, it's focused even further beyond me, behind. So I'm pretty happy with that, uh, with that range of adjustment there. I'm going to go ahead and try and experiment with the other lenses just to see what those look like as well. Oh, and while I have this minus six on here, let's try autofocus. So there's autofocus, and you can see it did a pretty good job of, of focusing on my shirt. If I get my hand up here, it's still doing a pretty good job of focusing on that. I'll get some print. Did a good job there. And there it does a good job. So it seems to cope pretty well with having that minus six diopter lens in front of the camera. Okay, so I tried the number six and it was pretty good, the minus six. This is the minus two lens. I'll go ahead and put it up here. And we're still on autofocus. We'll take a look and see how that how, that, how well it copes here. So yeah, it focuses just fine. That's about uh, maybe three inches in front of the camera. And now maybe about a foot, 10 inches to a foot in front of the camera. And then now it focuses on me and it looks pretty good. Uh, going to manual control of the focus. I feel like I can just get my shirt in focus at the tail end of the, of the range there, but it's not giving me quite as much distance focus as I want, so I think I like the minus six better. All right, so I've uh, attached the lens in the, the cheesiest way possible, just a little bit of blue painter's tape, but uh, it's on the camera and it seems to be working pretty well. I'm in manual focus right now. Um, one thing I'm going to point out is that there is a little bit of uh, loss of clarity near the 
the edge of the, of the screen or near the edge of the camera, you can see it, it starts to get a little bit blurry up in the corners. And I think that's because, you know, we're applying an external lens and that it's starting to look through the edges of that lens out towards the uh, the sides there. But in the center, I'm really pleased with the with the clarity and the focus and also with the the range that I have now because I can push back a little further and I can actually get the background into sharp focus if I want. And I can actually even go beyond that and focus on the far distance. So I feel like that's an improvement over the over the the way the camera comes from the factory because um, from the factory it's got a really close field of focus and once you get more than maybe two or three feet away it starts to lose the ability to focus. All right, as kind of a final check of uh, the increased focal distance of this camera, I've now got it pointed out the window and my window is not perfectly clean so you'll see there's a little spot up there in the middle but uh, what I want to show you is that when we start to adjust the, the focus you can see I've got more than enough range to bring the kind of the infinite focus into into a really sharp picture and I can also pull in closer obviously that's not much use here but you can come in close and also push out far away and it's almost maybe maybe even too much uh, correction so we could probably get away with the minus four lens on here this is the minus six by the way but you can see what I meant about uh, distortion in the, in the corners, like in the, in the outer areas there. It starts to get kind of a soft focus, but the center is, is nice and sharp. So that's it. That's my uh, quick and easy external fix for uh, lack of focal range on the Logitech C920 camera, and I'm sure it would work for other similar Logitech cameras. If this was uh, a helpful or informative video for you, I'd appreciate a like. And if you uh, like my channel in general, please subscribe. And I love uh, hearing from people who watch these things, so if you leave a comment, I'll answer. And I'm looking forward to posting more content in the future.